If you think that a booster seat is not a necessary product, I'm going to show you why it is. I'm going to show you the best booster seats of 2022. Long awaited to all my fans out there who've been asking for me to do a booster seat roundup. Here it is. Um, if you don't know me, Ellie from Magic Beans videos, I review baby gear and the fans, welcome to the community, have been asking for a booster seat roundup. So let's talk about booster seats for a second. People think that it is not necessary. My mom and dad threw me in the back of the car, yada, 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 but it is um, really, really important that children are in booster seats. Why? Because seatbelts, which are very safe, they keep uh, us safe, and definitely wear your seatbelt if you're an adult or a grandparent watching this, wear a seatbelt. It keeps you from ejecting out of the car. Th so they are very safe, but they are designed for adults four foot nine and taller. So if you're four foot nine and shorter, if you were a little child, that seatbelt is not going to fit your body in the right position. Um, in particular, the lap belt is going to go across the baby's belly or the child's belly, um, soft tissue and organs and all that stuff. And when, you're, when they're boosted up, the lap belt goes across the bony hips. So if you're in a crash, God forbid, that lap belt is not going to smush the child. It's going to, it really reduces emergency room visits. Also, the shoulder belt positioning is also putting it in the right position to keep your child safe. So definitely, definitely get a booster seat um, till your state's limits for height and weight, and definitely until the child fits uh, safely in a seatbelt. Great, there is my public service announcement for booster seats, it's so important. Now, let me show you, now the first product I'm showing you, which is the Britax Grow With You, is not a total booster seat. This is a harness to booster seat. So you'll see there is still a harness. Now, another thing about booster seats is that they're, they, by and some of them you'll see, they do attach to the car, but it is really that seatbelt that is keeping them safe. So um, there is a harness on this, um, on the Britex Grow With You, and we recommend that your child stay in a harness seat, whether you're using your convertible car seat in the forward facing position, um, when your child's older, remember we like our children rear facing as long as possible, but if they are old enough to be in the forward facing position, then we want them still to be in that harness. Race car drivers are in um, harnessed seats. So again, it keeps you from ejecting from the car. So keep your child in the harness as long as they are willing to be in it and follow the guidelines of the particular seat so you're at the height and weight of the harness. But at some point, your child is going to be on a first grade or second grade carpool line or something like that and is not going to want to be in a harness and is not convenient for any number of reasons. And at that point, you are going to stop using the harness and use these with the seatbelt positioning. And you're going to sort of tuck away the harness part and put your child in the, use this as a booster seat. You'll see that there are these little mechanisms, little hooks on the top of a booster seat that you can take the shoulder belt through and then you're just literally clicking in the seat belt. It is the seat belt that is keeping your child safe in the car seat. There are two cup holders that also, for the Grow With You in particular, you should know this is a click tight product, meaning that you are going to install this properly similar to your um, convertible car seat into the car. So here is the Nuna Ace. It's a flame retardant free booster seat as all Nuna car seats are. It is more traditional. You are going to be attaching this to the car. Now there are, similar to the Pippa, there's a very similar rigid latch connection on the back of this, so you'll click this in. Um, that's just gonna keep the child, keep the seat more um, stable. Again, you're not using this with, the, there's no harness on a Nuna Ace. You're using the seatbelt to keep your child secure. The other thing about um, keeping the car seat attached, besides general stability, is that when you are dropping your kid off at carpool, car seats can become projectiles in cars, so having them attached and affixed to the car is just safer for the passengers or the drivers in the car. Um, there is extra layers of side impact, side impact protection. There's a tripper layer. There's one of these side impact pods like you'd see on a Nuna Rava, which you may be familiar with. And it is just a very comfortable seat. You're able to adjust it. This starts at 40 pounds. So if your child is under 40 pounds, they should, again, similar to the Grow With You, probably should still be in a harness. Not judging, peace and love, live your life, but it's really important that your child is in something like this with all the side uh, shoulder protection and the head protection um, up to 120 pounds. Here's the Peg Perigo 
Flex 120, again, holds up to 120 pounds. Again, more traditional type of booster seat. A lot of cool features on this thing. I'm actually really loving it. I love, first of all, I love the leatherette detailing, the elegant stitching. This is made in Italy, so you'd expect that from them. Again, it has that rigid latch connection to make it easy to install. Just click it right on. Um, but once it, but also has a nice recline feature. So if your child wants to recline safely, you can do that with the, um, with the Flex 120. Also, there is this, you could turn the wings on the side. So as your child gets bigger, see that just popped out. And now this, again, this can hold a much larger child with comfort. It can also fold down, just pull a little loop on the back and it folds right down. So easy for storage. Um, you may uh, be taking, um, if you're, if you drop your kid off say in kindergarten and they're going home with a friend in a carpool, something that may typically happen is you may take this with you into the, um, into the classroom and go on a carpool on the way out. So this is a, um, a convenient thing to have for that type of situation. Okay, we have the, uh, the Britax High Point. Again, very traditional booster. Um, has the side cushion technology on the side, which is a kind of a third layer of side impact protection. Cup holders. But one of the things I like about this is there's a belt uh, positioner for a lap belt uh, positioner, which helps them not go underneath the lap belt because the lap belt goes right through this little red piece and it just keeps the child more secure in the booster. Really nice looking booster and it also made in the USA. Uh, also, if you love an Upper Baby product, I love the Upper Baby Altel. This is so plush and nice. Again, similar to the High Point, has that uh, lap belt positioner so the kid doesn't slide underneath the lap belt. Um, easy to adjust. Also side impact protection pods, which we love that for side impact protection. Um, if you're thinking about a backless booster versus a high back booster, those are the two types of boosters that exist. Um, I definitely recommend the high back variety because even though it is safe with that seatbelt, you do have that, um, that shoulder belt positioning and the extra layer of actual protection with all of the great foams that are in a booster seat to keep your child safe. Okay, we have the Kleck Uber. That's spelled O-O-B-R, I know. Made in Canada. This is a great product, super, super safe. You can, you can attach it with that rigid latch, very similar to a Kleck Foomf, and it adjusts um, kind of like a car seat. Like you'll see that the headrest feels very similar to a, um, a type of car, uh, car headrest that you'll have in your car. Um, this is a best in class a high back booster, and it's one of our most popular choices for our customers. My next favorite booster seat is the Diono Monterey 5. This is a fantastic seat. It's foldable, it has isofix, and it grows by 85%. What you do is you just pull on the back here, and you can see these wings pop out. And you can use this for so many years, up to 120 pounds. It also has safe plus engineering, which means it has super strong and high quality foams and plastics on the side, which has optimal engineering for superior safety. This is the Kleck Ali. It's the only uh, backless booster that we're showing today. It is great. You can uh, add it on with that rigid latch and just easily pop out the little loop to remove it directly from the, uh, from the seat. Um, these are all available at beans.com with free shipping. Check out our baby gear playlists. Oh, wait, 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 before you go, I just want to tell you, I was remiss in saying a couple of things. Number one is why would you use a backless booster? Number one, you may have a child who's just refusing to be in a baby looking car seat and it's safe for them to be in, like I said, with a booster seat, a high back, or let's say backless booster, rather than no booster whatsoever. Also, like I said before, if you're taking it into kindergarten, putting it into the cubby, this is gonna be easy for the little child to put around. Again, it's much better for your child to be with a booster or not a booster. Speaking of that, I have in this little pink thing, it's called a bubble bum. It is an inflatable booster. You can inflate it, really great for on the go. Um, and again, like I said, I'm so passionate about kids being in booster seats because it's just not ideal for your child to be in a seatbelt when they are too young to be in it. So get a bubble bum or get a clack or any of the other booster seats that I showed in the video. I'll see you at the next video.